in LMP2, Bruno Senna by 0.3 of a second last time, and here it is again, going down towards the first corner, this time staying well out of the way, across the line, who had it? Bruno Senna by 0 0.002 of a second, but Will Stevens goes through, and immediately cuts across to try and defend on the inside, it's a nice move, the 45 is not in that fight, can Senna put some pressure on, down towards turn three, Flash of the lights. Is that a flash of the lights from Bruno to say it's yours, mate? Was he trying to distract the guy ahead? Into the pits come the 35. That's a big stop for them. But that's done. That the G drive is done. That's gone. That could only have been traffic coming into the final turn. Well, they were pretty close to the previous lap, Graham. Lap and it was a second and a half. Right. And there were three tenths coming through the final sector. So, it must have been a mighty hold-up for Bruno Senna. Sticking with him. Yeah. All of a sudden... Oh, look, he's a happy boy. Alex Brundle being rather more of a kind of... I can put this balancing factor there. Mm. It's not done yet, says Alex. Four minutes. No. Many a slip twixt. That's two laps and check it flag. I think four seconds see. back. And now look, De Val coming back again. Is he running out of time here, John? He's run out of time, unfortunately, Grim. He has run out of time. Unless Kobayashi has a major issue now. I have to say, hats off to Kobayashi. He has been a driver of very high quality indeed all day today. 3.8 seconds as they clear the next sector, though. Coming down, but probably not quick enough at this stage. Kobayashi still at pace, just not quite as much pace as the chasing Audi. Hundred and forty-one laps complete. So that's more than we expected. I will say at this point, John, it is the first time to this point since Spa last year we've had a race go fully green. Yeah. The 24-hour race at Brno this weekend. There was uh, over nine hours of it. Another half a second out of the first sector. And what's happened there? Kopiash all of a sudden loses loses a chunk of time. As we see the pass for the lead in LMP2. And a clean pass it was. No, no, that's fine. Dave Clark in the back of the carriage there enjoyed that one. It's not over though when you've got traffic around like this. Oh, 2.5 seconds the gap now for the lead. It's not done. It's not done. Zero. And it's all on again at the head of the field. Oh dear, and all of a sudden they're looking concerned. No, not again. Never give up, it says on the back. There's ah, it's just a huge bunch of traffic, huge bunch of traffic, and the Audi's got to hit it. Actually, the Audi might hit it on the start finish line. The Audi's got two cars between. It hits it perfectly for the oh, Audi. Oh my goodness! This is going to be under two and a half seconds. It's 1.9 seconds as they come into the start finish straight. What is the gap going to be with two minutes on the clock? They cross the line. There's going to be another lap after it's this one. It's 1.4 seconds. There's going to be another lap after this one, Graham, and, he, and the Audi knows he's got to get through. He's got a couple of GT cars ahead of him. One of them is the Aston. There's debris being thrown up. It's not bad. It's not bad, but he's got to be very, very aggressive, and he is. 1.1 seconds. Now through past the leader in LMP2, and there's nothing between them. Just that gap, and that gap is visual. This is remarkable. It's come down to this. Six hours of racing, and we're going to go over six hours of racing because the chequered flag is not coming out next time around. We've got another four and a half kilometers at the end of this lap. It's going to have to be fault for fault or for defended at all one. 0.9 of a second is the gap between first and second for the overall win. 1.7 is the gap in LMP2. This is magnificent stuff. Don't care which way it goes now. I really don't. This has been brilliant from both. Absolutely brilliant from all three of the manufacturer teams. The closest on that one. Well done. Closest on record between the three teams in qualifying. The second closest between first and second. The second closest between the top six in the current system of WEC qualifying. And it's come down to this. This is brilliant stuff. This matters probably more than any other six-hour race that I can remember for all sorts of reasons. This is lap 243 completed. We go on to lap 244. 
There's a shake of the head from Ollie Jarvis. They need help from traffic. The Toyota goes long into the first corner. It's going to be all about where the traffic is hit. Lloyd Duval. It's like a video game for him now. There is his target. Time is running out. Time has elapsed. It's over. Now it's the chase to the line. We promised you six hours of action. We're going to give you a little bit more here. Duval was actually slow that time around by half a second, but now he's got the bit between his teeth. Oh, traffic, look at the traffic! traffic, look, traffic. At the traffic. look at the traffic in front of the leaders! Oh dear, oh dear. Anything that happened here, Duval's going to be right on the back of the Toyota as they come into the accelerator. It's quite a long run to the finishing line here. Yes, Who's got the energy left? And I don't mean physically, I mean electrically. It's going to be who's got the boost out of the final corner. Look at this. Watch this. This is the end of the race. This is who is going to win the six hours. This is not necessarily great for Toyota. He's been caught the right line. He's oh, the right line. brilliant stuff from Kobayashi. The crowd in front of us rises one of the six hours. Oh, Fuji goes to Toyota on home ground. And at the line, it's a second and a half. The crowd literally go wild. Absolutely, everybody on their feet for that one. Payback from Le Mans. Magnificent. It's not as sweet as the big race, but my goodness me, Ollie Jarvis is robbed of another victory. He's probably the least happy in that Audi pit, but Audi continue to pressure Porsche in both the manufacturer and the drivers' championship with the. Neil Johnny has come home fifth. Fifth position for the current leaders of the championship. Waiting for Ant Davison to come through. It'll be 1 4 for Toyota. Who would have bet that Toyota would have the only two cars in the top four? Absolutely wonderful stuff. Absolutely brilliant result for this group of people. Fighters, the lot of them. Will Stevens beats Bruno Senna by 1.3 seconds. I think that was fair enough. First win of the season for, uh, for Toyota. Look at that. First win of the season for the G-Drive team in the WEC. First win of the season for the Ford UK team. The 67 car has come home, Andy Brio and Harry Tignall. And a win again for the number 98 Aston Martin team. What a fantastic six hours of entertainment, John. Absolutely magnificent. What can you say after that? That's a happy man. Audi again controlled that race and still couldn't win it. Did nothing wrong there. Yeah, awesome drive, Kevin. Awesome drive. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Amazing. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your heart. I appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Now that's going to be a man that will be very proud indeed from this day forward to put on his business card, Toyota Gazoo Racing Sports Car Driver. Yep. Fantastic stuff. What a great result. G-Drive, I think that's a reasonable result for G-Drive and I think that's the right result. I didn't like them being pushed up against the wall by Bruno. Said that last year when it was their driver doing it to someone else and to be consistent. As I said, I think you could have argued that he was pushed there. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to the next 12 hours of racing. Because if this is the but way we can finish... Sleep. If this is the way we can finish the World Championship, then someone's opened the box of pigeons and put a cat in it. We've got to cut this down to 52 minutes overnight <laughs> and then do a voice on it tomorrow. Good luck with that. Yes. I'm going to pub. First win for the Ford UK concern in the six-hour format. That has been a long time. They might do that again. I'm going to tip forward again right now at Shanghai, by the way. It's a very similar sort of circuit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know what to say after that, mate. That was an extraordinary. Mark Webber comes home on the podium. All on the three event. factory teams on the podium. Yeah, separated by 17 seconds at the end the top three that was genuine racing no interventions by safety cars full course yellows six hours and a bit 
of racing. Well done to all the teams, all the drivers, great clean race. And to race control, because they gave the colours time to fire up and keep moving. And they, uh, they did the wrong thing in my mind, John, I think you think so too, and the way they dealt with the LMP, uh, LMP2 spats at the end of the race. Yeah. Magnificent well, stuff. A race truly worthy of the World Championship moniker. Absolutely. Let's uh, just recap then for you. Aston Martin, 98, beat Ferrari and Porsche, 83 and 78 in Harvard. The two Ford, 67 and 66, ahead of the 51 Ferrari. And LMP2, third for Alpe, the 36 championship leading car, continue to lead the championship. Their lead is cut back a tiny bit by the 43 car. They keep the championship alive for RGR Sport and the first win of the season following their pole position for the 26G drive. The first win by the Tota WEC team since Bahrain, seventh round in 2014 when they became the world champions. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. A wow. very, very hard-working group of people. And like Duval in second place, Mark Webber in third or eight and one in third place. Got, there will be at Weissach some questions asked about the pace of that number two car. Yeah, they went the wrong way somewhere very early this weekend and never recovered. Arigato, Kuzimazu. Yes. Thank you, everybody. See you in Shanghai. Well, before then, this crowd is sticking around. Oh. It's going to be a very and emotional gathering podium. underneath the podium from the pits lane and people moving down the pit lane area. Oh, I just, there is a big screen. That was it, see it. First win, of course, for Tota for this man, Kabui Kobayashi. It's uh, back to the podium, and they'll have missed it. Stefan Sarazan and Mike Conway. And we saw Alexander Wurtz there. He was aboard the car when they last won. Yes, he was. Good Jacob Muller, among others, saying six hours of racing. But it was six hours of racing. It wasn't a six hour race, it no, was six, it hours, was of six racing. hours of racing. Brilliant. State power in no words. First and second separate at 1.3 seconds. This is the best racing on the planet. Hard to disagree with you there. Magnificent driving, magnificent oh, teams. Oh, still as Fan cool as it was. Fantastic, as fantastic, as fantastic, fantastic course. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Great fans, fantastic officiation here. Everybody from the guys who have checked our passes at the gate and everywhere that they've needed checking, who've done it with a smile on their face. Like that, Duval, I'm that's sorry, boss. That's the kind of moment that matters too. That's why Audi's not leaving this sport, mate. That means too much to them.